Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to continue with Omron V, Omron slash Yaskava V100 drive where we're going to do a 2-3 wire control and potentiometer and things like that. We're going to be doing a bit of a setup and then and, and run through some parameters and things like that. So uh, the last video we did uh, commissioning of the drive and running the drive in a local mode. So if you haven't seen that one and want to see how that's done, uh, the video is going to be in uh, the link in description below. And before we get started, as usual, I just like to transfer buyers and sellers of industrial automation. So if you want to buy, looking for parts, get in touch. If you want to sell, get in touch as well. So without further ado, let's crack on. Alrighty, so the, all the wiring is sort of done for uh, doing two wire control and plus potentiometer. Uh, before we get started, I'll talk, there is so much more you can do with this drive and, 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 and there are so many parameters you can edit and things like that. We are so, solely going to be concentrating on getting this drive going remotely uh, with the two wire control basics and things like that. So basically what you're going to need in general to get this drive moving the way you want it and also as, as I said there's so many things you can still do and things like that so uh, regarding the wiring again it's very basic if you follow the last video uh, we don't even have to change uh, practically any of the parameters at all so uh, but the jumping between uh, terminals and uh, uh, local mode is just this button in here as you can see there by clicking already because I'm using I already uh, wired in the potentiometer which is a two kilo ohm, by the way, two kilo ohm potentiometer, and the potentiometer uses ports A1, V plus, and AC, and then uh, configuration is depending what kind of potentiometer you're going to be getting, and you just just make sure that the uh, keep switching. If you don't if you don't get the frequency showing up, just keep switching around until you get it. There's only so much possibilities you can get if you don't have this kind of drawing where it tells you where things should be going so a lot of people to go for uh, all the basic chinese uh, potentiometers where there's not much you can actually read what's what what is what so uh for the potentiometer yeah we're using these two ports and then um, i'm using a very basic station which is the select switch, select the switch station uh, if you're not using some external uh, relay like i do in uh, some of the stations down here uh this is with this more or less the, the the minimum you would need to do i've got a bit of hole in there but not using that one for now so it's just to select the switch and it's just sort of see the drive just by, by flipping it it just turns drive on and things like that one thing i definitely want to change is my uh, acceleration deacceleration time and that is in the c parameters so uh go back to the local and then uh always try to change your parameters in the local mode uh enter let's go to c and C1, C1 and C2, here we go, let's go get that across, get that one out, change that to 1 so it does not wait to drive the ramp up, I save that one and let's go change the deceleration as well. So we are working on very basic, basic uh, applications in here, so uh, if, I, if, if for me to go into the much more deeper and what else we can do in things like this video would drag in for hours and definitely will bore you out because you, if you only want to look at that for just a basic run. And the one more another thing I uh, did or wanted to change when I started with, which it, I did not do in auto tune because in two wire control, you don't need to do that in auto tune, but I, I want to do it. So it's input, uh, sort of input voltage. If you uh, go for the E, uh, enter, enter, and change that. This, this is the default stance in 200. Change that to 230, whatever voltage you are getting incoming. So I change, I don't measure my voltage in there. I just want to make sure that is uh, matching that. That's the only things I've changed just now, as you can see, to pretty much run from uh, remote to local again. You can by switching or a local remote quickly goes in between one and two. And if you watched the last video, if you initial, initialize in. Uh, uh, two wire control, all the pretty much everything in there more or less can be preset for you to go. And regarding the wiring for the buttons, uh, as you can see in the back in here, I basically have the SC coming to a normally open contact for the select the switch and it goes back to S1 which is a uh, forwards. And obviously you can use S2 for the reverse if you wish to uh, use station like that. 
There you add another select switch for the for the reverse, and S3 will be your reset and your uh, error, which is which is actually going to show you if you start the drive now. And then let's say I ramp it up, and you have some sort of emergency. I am using as you see, uh, as, pre as previous video by clicking that it sends the drive into emergency, and uh, it stops the drive. And for you to restart the drive, you will still have to wait. turn it off, and then you can turn it back on again. So it's a pretty good safe isolation try to use that as much as possible so again i just quickly remind uh do it again as we did last video i've got the hc coming in here and then h1 h2 is going back to uh through the normally closed contact going back to h1 and h2 down there so that's pretty much uh, sort of gets you i don't know two wire control going and please make sure that this switch in here it is in sync mode otherwise these terminals the, the source from sc will not work and your terminals will not turn on so make sure that uh, so select the switch is selected so uh, now we've gone through the two wire control very basic hopefully that makes sense so let's jump onto a three wire control all righty now we are all wired up for a three wire control and let me run you through how the wiring is done uh, potentiometer as we did it before still stays the same uh, our e-stop is still staying the same with our uh, uh, HC, H1, H2, which are in the back of a controller in here. And a three wire control, what we're going to need to do, we have to create some sort of a uh, stop signal where we're going to be getting a stop at a S2. And I'll show you in a minute what we need to do with the parameters uh, uh, before, uh, once we go through the wiring. So the wiring, it, it, it works like that. So that uh, from which I can actually show you the wiring diagram going for this wiring diagram and uh, what you need to do with the wiring wise that works like the SC the power cable yeah SC power cable would come to the normally closed contact go to the normally closed contact and then then the number uh, cable number two which comes past the normally closed contact will go back to S2 and, and then obviously we'll jump across and goes to normally open contact which is our start button and we'll go back to S1 and that's pretty much that's how the three wire system is done but we need to make some changes to parameters and there's a couple of ways you can do that uh, one of them is if you are doing that for the drive for the first time you can initialize the whole system to work on three wire control which is you need to go to uh if you see a little in here this is a103 and you initialize to 333 and zero and it will initialize the whole system to uh, three wire control or you can uh, just jump from here if you all you need to do is go to a uh, parameters let's go down enter and go to the h this is h is where you can set up all your uh, inputs uh, to be well different as usual and uh, this, this, this uh, initialization is very similar to Siemens, in new, the, the latest Siemens uh, replacements, uh, uh, Siemens drives that are using, the, the Siemens is using the macros, but it looks like the Yaskawa has worked out the system quite well before, and I'll show you in a minute uh, what else they've done, which I think, I believe Siemens has more or less copied it to implement in their systems as well. But if you look at the page uh, 200, uh, 325, you can see that all the inputs can be configured to do different things in the H numbers. H1, there's a 2, 1, 2, 3, and all the all inputs will be in a H1 group and uh, in a, and all of them are going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and are accordingly to S's there. And you can have a ton, and I mean ton of different things those inputs are going to do. We are not going to go through them because that is just for more advanced systems and this is not what we do. In here, we are going to be doing a simple. The one thing we need to do, we need to go to, to rather than initialize and go through all this motor setup and things like that, we don't want to do that. We are going to go to uh, H5, H1, which is the fifth, uh, uh, fifth uh, input. And we're going to change that to zero, which is already uh, done in there and once you do that once you do the s5 the, the change it to zero he will automatically reconfigure the necessary inputs to work for three wire system so all you need to do is change the s5 to a, a zero so and that will automatically will change all inputs to uh, accept three wire control so 
the only thing is left to do, wiring we done, we already changed the S5, so the only thing is left to do is uh, sort of show you how it works. So now you have a nice start and stop signal. So, so press the start and then you can have a stop. And let's press the start and at the same time you have nice e-stop as well. You can shut the drive down quite nicely by releasing it. You can, uh, there we go, it goes again. So I didn't click it properly. So that's it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is three wire system. There's another thing you can do. There's obviously there's still like S3 and S4 left and S5. All those things are still viable. You can do. You can uh, create, uh, you create a uh, an S3 will be your. You can put the selector switch in there. Where you can select which way you want the drive to go. That option is available as well. I will be creating a, a bigger station for the three wire control with the selector switch as well. And possibly maybe we're going to put a potential with the control as well. So I will be starting making these stations a bit better and a bit bigger. So it's more of us. So what else can drive can do? Obviously, this drive is by far smart as hell. It's got a ton of content you can do in there and change and things like that. You can do a huge amount of controls if you wish to. But for the basic, that's all for the basic setup. That's all we pretty much need to get this drive to go the way we want it for um, generally in a general use out there being used so other than that ladies and gentlemen that's your, this will be it for the two wire control three wire control if you have any questions please do not hesitate put them down in, in comments below i will do my utmost best to answer every single one of them so uh other than that if you liked the video please like if you didn't dislike uh, comment below if you what you like what you didn't like and if you like what we do in this channel please subscribe and uh Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.